See, parents, teachers, and advocates are taking over school board meetings this month, wanting to stop another try at a proposal to take school vouchers statewide. You probably remember all the debate over this idea last year when state lawmakers could not get it through the General Assembly in Nashville, but Governor Lee says he is not giving up. Covering education for you, State Capitol reporter Tori Gessner shares both sides of the debate on public dollars for private schools. When it comes to his son's education, East Tennessee parent Dustin Park has no other choice but to be involved, especially when it comes to standing against school vouchers, pushing back against the proposed $144 million program where Tennessee would pay to send students to private school and other options if parents choose. From the lens of my son who has a disability, um, there is no choice for him because most private schools will not accept kids with disabilities. Uh, because they have to have additional supports. They're guaranteed through federal law. To me, that's just fundamentally discrimination. It's one of the reasons why Park and dozens of other parents, teachers, and advocates are showing their support for fully funded public schools by showing up to school board meetings across the state this September. It's a way for us to visually show that the majority of Tennesseans, again, want fully supported schools. We know that there are some issues in our schools, but that doesn't mean that we have to privatize privatize our schools, it means we have to come together as a community and really take a stand um, that we deserve fully funded schools. Meanwhile, school choice proponents argue the program would actually make public schools better. It leads to a com what they call a competitive effect, and that just makes sense. If, if traditional schools are worried about losing their families, then they have to improve faster to make sure they meet their family needs and keep them in their system. They believe a child's education shouldn't suffer based on where they live or how much money they have, giving parents the option to choose. With another school voucher bill possibly on the horizon, these parents are choosing to stand their ground. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Tori Gessner. Governor Lee told reporters today he will continue to push for a universal school choice program in Tennessee, as he's been telling us about that over the last few months. Right, exactly. I know you even had a chance to talk with him yeah. a little bit about that. You know, we're expecting to see that school choice bill when the legislative session begins in January.